previously on Octane Academy. With the winners of Camp Deegan, Camp Block, and Camp Getting Decided, we head to sunny LA for our final camp, hosted by rally superstar and Hollywood stunt driver Tanner Faust. These eight aspiring drivers will compete for a new Ford Focus ST and a spot with Jason, Blake, and Thomas in the season finale. This is the Octane Academy. We've rounded up four of Ford's biggest motorsports superstars, Brian Deegan, Ken Block, Vaughn Gittin Jr., and Tanner Faust. They'll each host a camp to find the most talented and fearless amateur drivers out there. Go big or go home. It just depends on how you want to go home. These pro drivers will put our competitors through some tough challenges to see who can win it all and become the ultimate champion oh! of this season's Octane Academy. Yeah! I'm looking for out of people in my camp is somebody who's willing to learn, who understands that the more they know, the more they realize they don't know. They're going to be given a chance to succeed, and that's the goal, I think, of everybody who shows up to the Octane Academy. Welcome to Octane Academy. Hey, you guys ready for this? <laughs> you stoked? Yeah. Sorry. All right. I remember the exact moment when I got turned on to driving cars. I was four and a half years old. My dad grabbed second gear, and I heard the tire squeal. I was like, wow, I don't know what that was, but it was awesome. And I think anybody who sent in a video for these camps probably had that same moment. Racing's been part of my entire life. Tanner Faust, one of the greatest drivers ever. Phenomenal driver. Everyone knows him for his stunts and drifting and rally cross. He's definitely representing and doing his thing. If there's anyone to bring my level of driving to the next level, it'd definitely be Tanner. For me and my camp, it's not about what kind of racing you've done in the past and where you've been. It's about your potential. I think it was important with my camp to incorporate some challenges that didn't necessarily have to do with sitting in the driver's seat. So the idea is to try to bring out some other weaknesses and whittle that pack away really early in the first couple challenges. Well, the zipline challenge lets them stress out. The people that have the driving background and the racing background don't have an advantage here. You have some timing, you're dropping some bombs on some things. It's going to be kind of a great equalizer. We see who's got the building blocks and then focus on the driving towards the end. All right, Amanda, you are up first. How's your aim? Pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, everybody? My name is Amanda Coles. I've always kind of been a gearhead kind of chick and was introduced to drifting. After that, I fell in love with it. I think these guys have a surprise in store for them. I'm a very aggressive competitor. Don't let the pretty face and the sweet voice fool you. <laughs> Amanda, are you ready to do this? Yeah! OK, the gate is open. There she goes. Amanda's going for it. That's one. Good gosh, that hit at the end is ridiculous. That is pretty brutal. The first one was right on target. Like, that's only a couple feet away. The second one. This one's in a different zip code. <laughs> that might be another, like, state. Ultimately, you kind of want to be right here. Yeah. I'm just going to tell you. I'm a little bummed out that I didn't even hit, like, the target. But hey, we'll see how the other contestants do. Next up is Landon. I'm Landon Franz. I'm 19 years old. I'm from West Plains, Missouri. Friends call me Squirrel. Why? Because I'm hyper as they come. 
Whenever I get in the driver's seat and get behind that steering wheel, everything just seems to disappear. This is pretty much my dream, like just the experience of it all. I can learn so much and become a better driver from it. You know, I've done zip lines before at church camp, but haven't uh, really done anything like this. Landon, are you ready to rumble? Always. Here he goes. Well, he's got a plan. Nice technique One. there. One. Whoa. 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 Nice work. Landon, you did great. The first one was almost a bullseye. Oh, fantastic. So it fell apart a little bit on the second one. Yeah, second one's hard to get. Third one, and you did pretty good. You're in the blue. All right, Landon, so you are moving into the lead. There are two people down, two more people yet to go. Coming up next, all packaging is safe and secure. The stunts continue in Tanner Faust, off 10 Academy. You're back at Tanner Faust, off 10 Academy. Amanda and Landon survived the zip line target challenge. Up next is Jarrell and Mark's turn to take the plunge. All right, Tanner, so we just saw Landon kill it. Next up is Jarrell, the biggest competitor we have. My name is Jarrell Little. You know, I am 31, and I have another child on the way, so it's now or never. I'm ready to take on people who believe that they're the best because I like dealing out a little piece of humble pie. Let's go, let's get it. Jarrell, are you ready to do this? Let's get it. Here we go. Oh, oh he's moving fast. He missed one completely. May have been a little panic. Wow. Let's go through the targets and check them out. So what, when this initially opened up, did your momentum just start to take you? Yeah, it, it was crazy, because I stepped out, and it went down, and oh. Just raw, raw panic, I think, there. And that's when it dropped two. In the third one, that one's close. Because it's not where the bag ended up, it's where it hit, okay. you know, to begin with. It ain't All right, over nice till it's over, though. It's not over oh, till no. it's over. We gonna get it, baby. I dropped two on the first one. I'm not happy about that. However, I mean, it was an experience. It was pretty cool, and I had fun the rest of the way down. It was just whoop, whoop. So our last competitor in this challenge is Mark from Tennessee. I'm Mark Ford. I'm from Dixon, Tennessee, and I'm 24 years old. Right now, it's kind of funny. I do uh, lawnmower racing, which, you know, it's kind of redneck, but, you know, it's it's different than what everyone else has done. I think that, that could be a huge advantage. Mark, you are the last contestant in the zip line target challenge. Are you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Mark oh. is out. Oh! One. Two. Boom. Oh. Boom, boom, boom. Oh. OK, uh, so we might. underestimated him. <laughs> All right, so the official results are in for the zip line target challenge. Landon, you had a lead early on with some good accuracy. However, you were taken out by Mark, who is the winner of the first challenge. You know, I have no idea. The second shot was pure luck. I mean, I didn't even really see the target going down. The first target, I thought I did OK. And the last target, I pretty much just nailed it, I guess. This Hollywood Stuntman Challenge is a chance to weed people out that are just going to forget what they need to do. You know, once they have a couple tasks, it gets a little bit complicated. A lot of times, if you're shooting something for a film, you're not just there to hold the steering wheel. Doing something that seems as simple as slide over the hood can throw somebody off. And then when they have to do some driving after all that, maybe they forgot all the things they learned about driving. Generally, if you're doing a reverse 180, it's because you don't have enough room to turn around. It's just basically throwing a lot of things at them, making sure they remember how to drive. Amanda is up first. She will set the pace. I'm in third place right now. I am ready to actually do a driving challenge and uh, show these guys what I can do. Amanda, are you ready for the Hollywood Stuntman Challenge? Just done person. Ready? First to go off the boxes. 
You know, boom, Ooh, nicely stuck. done. Kind of hot tubbed into the boxes <laughs> right there. Hot tubbed in there. <laughs> Ooh. That was oh, nice. I took the fin, though. She did catch the, the fin there. The um, reverse been turned. She's trying to find reverse right now. Finds it. Hard on the gas. This is the danger spot. Oh! oh! Does she find oh, first gear? First. Yes! Stop the clock. That is going to be tough to beat. Yeah, baby. Thank Good work. Thank you. Reverse spin turn was awesome. Thank you. I mean, it's a pretty oh, narrow, boxes. it's a pretty narrow spot. So, 27 seconds. Yeah. Okay. okay. So that is the time to beat. I jumped in the car and just went at it. I had no boxes or nothing. So, definitely set the bar for these guys on this one. All right. So, Tanner, next up is Mark. I'm in first. You know, I kind of wanted to stay that way. I think I'll be first by the end of this challenge too. Mark, you ready? I'm ready. Here we go. Oh, he went pretty far. That was a risky move. Oh, oh God, oh, he clipped oh, the fin. <laughs> oh, God. He's looking for it. Where oh, is first it? Gear. Oh, boy, that's, that's first. Nice and easy, Mark. Oh, two-second penalty. Third gear. And stop the clock. All right, Mark, so you ended up with a 31 flat. Man, I did everything wrong is what happened. Uh, I didn't have any flexibility. I went to jump over the car, busted my knee, and I panicked. If we had done this one more time, I would have had the best time for sure. Coming up next. Oh. Oh, and I'm coming back with a vengeance. More insane challenges at Tanner Faust Octane Academy. You're back at Tanner Faust Octane Academy. Amanda is holding it down with the fastest time in the stunt person challenge. Yeah, baby. Now Jarell and Landon have to try to keep up. We got two competitors down. Amanda's still in the lead with a 27.47. Next up is Landon. This challenge will be my first time ever doing a 180 spin, so pretty stoked. Landon, here we go. Oh, oh, boy. Over the hood. Oh! She got it right on the ankle. He's going. He's going. Oh, man. He's patient. Swatting bees in there. He's got to just slow it down. Breathe. Breathe. Find reverse. It's a push there button. it is. Okay. Okay. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh, oh! Miss the boxes. Find first. Yes, drive away. Boxes. Drive away. Restart it. He stumbled it. Third place. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. A windshield wiper's going. That's for safety. That is good. All right. All right. Stop the clock. Your time is 31.09. So right now, you are sitting in third. I'm just happy I didn't hit a box, but sadly, I stalled out. I had to start the engine back up. I guess my adrenaline kicked in. The last contestant will be Jarrell. I am in last place right now. I need this, and I'm coming back with a vengeance. Jarrell, are you ready? There he goes. To the edge of the boxes. Oh, oh man. <laughs> oh, boy, here he comes. Du -du 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 -du. Oh, oh, catches the hip. That yeah. hurts. That hurts. He's got, oh, man, he's looking pretty excited right now. Seatbelt. Calm. Slow it down, Jarrell. Damn seatbelt. Oh, he's yanking away at that seatbelt. 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 Oh, 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 there we go, there we go. Oh. Woo! <laughs> Jarell, you were the last one to come through. You hit a box with a two-second penalty. You ended up getting a 29.75. So, Amanda, you've won the second challenge here. I'll take so, that. I'll take that. Dude, I totally nailed it. I got the guys out. I told you one by one. I feel really confident. Ready to win this thing, man. For my Octane Academy, the skill set that somebody needs is absolute focus. When you're driving a car on a movie set, 
everything can go wrong. So it's incredibly important that in the face of absolute chaos, a stunt driver is able to maintain focus and not risk other people's lives. The third challenge, this is where the driving now gets more intense. This is really gonna take those four that kind of pass some of those, you know, having the nuts and bolts of being the right kind of person to be able to do stunt driving to being somebody who actually does have the driving skills also. A lot of timing, a lot of heads up driving, and a lot of, you know, good use of vision in the face of chaos. All right, so Jarrell is up first here in the Slalom Slayer Challenge. Well, this is it, you know, uh, facing elimination. I'm gonna outdrive the drifter, I'm gonna outdrive the lawnmower racer, and Landon, I'm just gonna outdrive you too. So Jarrell is ready to get this thing going. He's got to win this competition in order to still be in the game. All right, here he comes. Around the barrels. How's he looking? He's looking tidy through there, really being pretty conservative. This is gonna get tricky. Oh, 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 whoa, whoa that nicely was quick. done. That was quick. This is the stressful turn. Oh, he overshoots oh. it. That's what I was worried about for Jarrell. Handbrake turn. Looking good, grabs first gear. You know, he saves it on the last corner, but yeah. the win and the loss is gonna happen on that fast one. Jarrell, you had a nice run through here. Only one problem section. You made it through everything clean, didn't hit anything. Your time is, right now, a 25.63. Well, it went as well as I could. You know, I didn't hit anything, so hopefully this time stands. I'm the guy to beat. All right, so now we have Landon behind the wheel. He's another guy like Jarrell. Pressure's on him. I mean, it's all or nothing for both of these guys. Sitting in fourth place, you know, I, I've got a little bit more pressure than everyone else to kind of make up ground and get back in it. So the time to beat right now, Jarrell posted a 25.63. But no so, penalties. No penalties. Let's see how he does. Oh, All right. almost stalls it on the line. That's... Wow, that would not have been a good way to start. Here he comes. Oh! Locks it up, I'm telling you. Really tentative through the slalom. Oh, the ball. first ball catches oh. him up. Oh, oh he ball. One ball, ball strike. Takes the ball in the side. Landon. Nice through the second. He's a little tentative here. He's so worried about this hairpin turn. Wow. Oh, 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 oh. One, two, three. Three cones hit. Landon, the time that you needed to beat, Jarrell posted a 25.63. You came in at a 37.60, so you are no longer in the game at this point. It didn't go the way I wanted at all. I could have done a lot better. I know it can, so I guess it just wasn't enough. Coming up next, Amanda and Mark face elimination in Tanner's third challenge. Oh, oh. he gets a ball! You're back at Tanner Faust Octane Academy. With Jarrell sitting in first, it's drive or die for Amanda and Mark. All right, Tanner, so Amanda's up next. Right now, she's standing in first place, and I don't think that's going to go to her head. I think she's going to be in it to win it. Well, let's see how she does. This is definitely my time to shine. I'm anxious to get behind the wheel and uh, just do the dang thing. All right, baby. All right, here she comes. Uh, she is, was pretty aggressive in the slalom. Slowed it down a bit, looking for the balls. Nice. Wow, she was quick through the balls. Ooh, she's this is a fast good. corner. This is pushing it. OK, didn't go so well for it. Oh! Amanda looking very fast right there. All right, Amanda, so your time is 25.47. You needed to beat a 25.63. So you are now in the lead. That went freaking awesome. I just gunned it. I was just focused on finishing. I've got Mark coming up. We'll see how he does. All right, Tanner, Mark is our last competitor here in the Slalom Slayer Challenge. I think it's going to be pretty quick. As long as he pushes it through the slalom and doesn't hit anything. The time to beat right now is Amanda's time of a 25.47. We're going to see if Mark can beat that. You're competing in a race finally, so we actually get, you know, what everyone wanted is to see who's the better driver. I'm confident that I can deliver today. 
Didn't stall off the line. That's good, no yes. stalling. Now this is where he could bash on the passenger side right there, and he gets it. Oh no. Let's get that. Oh, oh, and he gets a ball. He straight up nose punched a ball. Nice corner there, he could save it right here though. Is it enough, though? Is it enough to make finish. up? It's a big finish. All right, guys, the moment you've all been waiting for at this point. Mark, you did, in fact, post the fastest time through this course of 24.16. However, hitting two of those obstacles gave you a total time of 28.16. So, Amanda, you are the winner of this third and final challenge and will go on to represent this camp for the third and final round of Tanner Faust Octane Academy. Awesome, dude. I'm stoked and ready to go. Let's do it. <laughs> it's unbelievable that I, I came in here and I took these guys out. I feel like the guys definitely underestimated me coming in as the female driver. I'm really thankful that, you know, I, I did my best and, I mean, it paid off. Yeah, baby! Amanda's had a kind of an interesting road to get here. She's the only girl in the group that has to put the whole gender on her shoulders. But when the pressure was on, she killed it. I think Amanda's somebody who, under pressure, seems to perform better than anybody thought she could. Going into the next round, I'm just going to just do what I do, and that's drive. On the next Octane Academy, group two battles it out to face Amanda in the Faust Camp Finals for a brand new Ford Focus ST. If Tyler wins it, I think I'm going to go and punch him in the head. I thought I nailed it, personally. 